This is Djibouti. This country occupies only a small portion of the African continent and has a population of approximately 1 million people. This tiny African port state is home to eight foreign military bases. Djibouti is located at the Red Sea's mouth. Sea pirates surround them, but the country itself has not been invaded or faced any security problems since 2001. How did Djibouti manage to be the world's military base? By being a military base, what does the country stand to benefit? You will have to watch till the end of this video to find out. Djibouti is located near the Babel Mandeb Strait, the oil-rich Arabian Peninsula, and the proactive shipping lane of the Gulf of Aden. The rise of piracy and sea robbery has boosted the country's geostrategic and geoeconomic importance. Djibouti's significance has only grown due to the fragile security environments in Somalia and Yemen. The increasing presence of dominant foreign actors in the small African port state has sparked a security debate. Djibouti is home to eight countries' military bases. The military bases that have been established so far in Djibouti are owned by the United Kingdom, Germany, Italy, Spain, France, the United States, China, and Saudi Arabia, all of which are close to one another. Besides that, there are rumors that Russia and India have expressed strong interest in establishing military bases in that same country, which will increase the number to 10 if they come to terms with Djibouti's government. And it appears that the country's location is the primary reason for its hosting of foreign military bases. This conclusion can be drawn from the interest the country and its neighbors receive from foreign countries. Despite the tensions and fight against al-Shabaab in Somalia, counter-piracy operations in the Gulf of Aden and the Saudi-Iran rivalry over Yemen, new global actors such as China and Japan are still willing to establish military bases there. Although not every country with a military base in Djibouti has admitted that it was a move to gain more military expansion, China has. According to Chinese officials, the facility has nothing to do with military expansion. It will serve as a supply hub for the country's peace operations and regional humanitarian efforts. Many saw the decision as a symbol of China's increasing role in Africa and its dedication to protecting its evolving interests across Africa. The situation is not the same in France and the United States. Djibouti is home to one of France's largest concentrations of overseas forces. Following the 9-11 terrorist attacks, the United States also formed Camp Le Marnier, which is the United States' only permanent military presence in Africa, tasked with combating terrorist threats in the Horn of Africa and Yemen. Japan's only foreign military base is also in Djibouti, as a counterweight to China's growing influence. The Italians have their own base, while the French host troops from Germany and Spain. The presence of these military bases in the country leads most people to believe that the country is the safest in terms of national security. After all, a country with more than eight countries protecting it will undoubtedly sleep soundly. Over the years, foreign military powers have sent forces to Djibouti to conduct surveillance and counterterrorism operations and deter pirates' attacks on international shipping lines. And in recent years, Sunni Arab states such as Saudi Arabia and the United Arab Emirates, concerned about the Shiite-led Iran's growing influence, has taken an interest in Djibouti as a base to indict the Yemen war and tighten the noose around the Houthi rebels. Djibouti has used its natural resources to supplement the country's income and serve as a home for four military bases. The country is estimated to handle 90% of Ethiopia's landlocked maritime trade, a significant deal given Ethiopia's over 100 million population and rapid economic growth. Ethiopia became landlocked after Eritrea declared independence in 1991, increasingly forcing it to rely on the Djibouti port. Gela began communicating with foreign powers in 2001, just when he was just about two years into authority. As the U.S.-led war against terror unfolded, the country was friendly and ready to punch above its weight. Rents from foreign countries' military bases will indeed essentially make a significant difference in economic growth in a poor country with massive unemployment and vulnerability to spikes in food and fuel prices. For example, the U.S. pays $63 million per year to lease its base, whereas the Chinese will pay $20 million per year in addition to the huge amount spent on building a railway, an industrial park, a port, and banks. Over time, it became clear that, in addition to developing Djibouti's ports and infrastructure, 
The president has attracted more foreign bases that provide income and protection from external aggression. Despite all the trouble pirates cause on the sea, they never get close to Djibouti's territory. That being said, let's go through the individual military bases that are accommodated by the Djibouti territory. Before going any further, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Technoglobal Innovation. Let's return to the video now. What advantages does this foreign country gain from investing heavily in military bases in Djibouti? First, we'll look at the U.S. Camp Lemonnier. Camp Lemonnier is one of Djibouti's most populous military bases. The Lemonnier was originally built as a garrison for the French Foreign Legion. Still, it is now leased by the United States Combined Joint Task Force, Horn of Africa. Over 4,000 U.S. soldiers and contractors are housed at Camp Lemonnier. Since occupying Camp Lemonnier, the U.S. military has expanded by establishing a second base at Chabelli Airfield. This expansion was intended to assist U.S. military drone operations. With conventional Air Force operations, the expansion has also helped to reduce aviation congestion at Camp Lemonnier. When the U.S. military leased the camp in 2001, they also gained access and the right to use the nearby airport and port facilities. So far, the public knows that the Lemonnier is the only permanent U.S. military base in Africa. Some people believe that the U.S. has other secret bases in Africa. The Limonier is in charge of supporting combat readiness, security for ship and aircraft detachments, combatant command, and personnel for regional requirements. Aside from the millions of dollars paid to Djibouti's government each year to help boost the country's economy, the base employs approximately 100 local and third country workers. The Limonier also accommodates the UK military force. Is Djibouti risking its national challenges by accommodating military bases in the country? Looking at the situation from a pessimistic standpoint, the country may face security challenges in the near future. The main concern is that these challenges will almost certainly not be posed by pirates. No pirate captain should be foolish enough to attack such a location. However, there are three significant reasons why the country's increasing military deposition of land and sea bases may pose significant security challenges. For starters, Hosting military bases under different flags can jeopardize the country's capability to make decisions on economic, political, and social policies. Being a military base for national rivals poses a threat to any country. The diverse and sometimes conflicting interests of international actors may impact policy-making processes. Currently, the United States has been granted access to the country's aviation and ports, and China is investing in various sectors of the Djibouti economy. This could lead to tensions in the future, because both countries are rivals seeking control and dominance. In such cases, the Djiboutian government may face significant policy-making challenges. If the trouble continues, they may be forced to take sides with one country. The second possible risk the country may face is renting strategic locations to various international actors to open military bases, eroding Djibouti's government's legitimacy on both the international and domestic levels. This is correct, as Djibouti's ability to act independently is already limited and overshadowed. When Djibouti defaulted on its mounting public external debt, the threat of legitimacy crisis grew closer and more serious. Third, increased global competition for Djibouti may jeopardize the country's and its people's de facto security. Djibouti politics is clearly far from perfect at the moment, with one party dominating the democracy. In many ways, they have changed the constitution to their advantage. A common example is bringing to law an unlimited tenure in a political position. They may face a political threat if global actors work to reshape domestic politics in the country to bring a loyal partner to power. The France military base would be the second military base in Djibouti that we would like to take a look at. France and Djibouti have a long history together, with France serving as Djibouti's former colonel ruler. Previously known as French Somaliland, it was later renamed the French territory of Afars and Aissa. When it gained independence from France on June 27, 1977, it took the name Djibouti. Following their independence, both countries signed the Defense Cooperation Treaty in 2011. The treaty specifies the operational facilities gained to French forces stationed abroad, which comprised France's largest military base abroad with 1,450 troops. Djibouti has the largest foreign legion deployment in France. 
France has warships, armored vehicles, and aircraft sleeping peacefully in Djibouti. The French base currently gives accommodation to Allies military forces from Germany and Spain. The Italian base in Djibouti is the third military base on the list. The base in Djibouti is the Italian Armed Forces' first true operational logistic base outside of national borders. The Italian government regards the base as a permanent outpost in a crucial strategic area. The military base is home to approximately 300 personnel. The Italian Navy riflemen are tasked with guarding merchant ships passing through the Indian Ocean. Some of the Italian military operations include counterterrorism operations near Somalia and Yemen, commercial traffic surveillance. In addition, the Italian military force deploys dozens of instructions and parachutists from its military base in Djibouti as a part of the European training mission supporting the Somali army in Mogadishu. The fourth military base on the list is the Japanese military base. Japan's first foreign military base is located on a 12-hectare plot next to the U.S. military base, Camp Limanier, and the Djibouti Ambuli International Airport. The base serves as a port for a single naval destroyer. The Japanese Self-Defense Force in Djibouti has 180 troops in its barracks. Japan's military operations in Djibouti include naval operations, naval peacekeeping operations, anti-piracy operations, naval resupply, and many others. Japan has agreed with India to share the base. China's first overseas naval logistics center is in Djibouti. China's military base is only a few miles away from Camp Limanier in the United States. For Chinese military operations, the base provides access to Djibouti Ambulye International Airport. According to reports, the People's Liberation Army Navy has secured exclusive use of at least one of the port's berths. Furthermore, by securing China's Silk Road economic belt, China has expressed interest in the African country space, capital exports from China to Africa, Chinese oil holdings in South Sudan. Crude oil is shipped to China by ship from Africa and the Middle East. China's foreign direct investment in Africa. And another huge military base that just joined the list of military bases in Djibouti is the Saudi military base. It is confirmed that the base will be very functional, which means that Djibouti will also be harvesting a lot of money from the oil-rich nation. The location of Djibouti, which was perceived to be a godsend location in order to help boost the country's economy and save the citizens from poverty, might just be converted into a devil's gate due to the decisions taken by the government to accommodate two rivals. How does the Djibouti government plan to manage its policy making and enjoy sustainable growth by being a military base for multiple international actors? That's a question that can only be answered by time. If you like this video about why this tiny African country is the world's military base, then make sure to watch any of the videos on our YouTube channel, Techno Global Innovations.